Gotta let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give up morning welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video i am having a busy day at cheshire oaks today so i thought i'd bring you guys with me i've just got back from a nice long dog walk had a shower wash my hair in fact let's take you into the bedroom because it feels a bit echoey in here okay now that my hair is all off my face before i get going i wanted to just do a little morning skincare routine i would ordinarily film this in my bathroom however when i film in there i feel like it's a bit echoey at the minute so we're in my bedroom just made the bed and i've just spritzed the bed as well with the um neon pillow mist as well so it smells lovely in here so um yeah i wanted to firstly share with you a, a brand that i've never mentioned here on my channel but one that i have recently discovered and have been loving naked and thriving which is a brand all about sustainability eco-friendly products with no added like sulfates parabens silicones gluten-free as well they are vegan cruelty free organic and natural paraben and synthetics free and it's honestly just a brand that takes pride in being sustainably sourced and without having a sort of negative environmental footprint so i've been trying out a few products for the last couple of weeks of which i have been loving them so i'm going to share with you the ones that i have particularly been loving so firstly the naked and thriving illuminate face serum which i'm just going to pop on now and then i go in afterwards with the naked and thriving prevent face oil i feel like they work really well together but the illuminate one for me is the hero i absolutely love a good kind of brightening skincare anything that will reduce dullness fine lines and wrinkles anti-aging properties and then i just oh, either massage in with my fingers like so and i always bring it down onto my neck it uses bacuchial which is an alternative to retinol it's just more natural a bit more gentle and then it also has the vitamin c to add brightness what i will sometimes go in with is this jade roller which they do as well this just honestly it's like one big massage it feels so nice if you've got that extra time in the morning to be able to use one of these in the warmer months as well these are great just popped in the fridge and then you can use the smaller end for like under your eyes and then the oil is something that i have introduced a bit more recently as an addition to using that illuminating oil illuminating serum sorry i should say pat it in rub it to my hands and just press it into my skin it really upsets me when i see tom do his skincare routine or skincare routine when he pops on his moisturizer and he just goes oh really upsets me and i really have noticed a difference with the texture of my skin and the just overall kind of brightness and dewiness i have also picked up a couple of their cleansing bars this one the exfoliate clay cleansing mom i think i'm going to use a lot it's in this beautiful jade color and i've got this little tray and flannel which i'm going to pop in my bathroom sit this on top as you can see and then pop this little brush that i've got just to the side or even on top of it just sat in my bathroom so yeah i'm excited to give those ones a try because i am yet to do so let me know if you want a bit more of a review on how i get on with the cleansing bars i will also leave my link in the description box which if you use it you will also get a free naked and thriving deluxe mini product with any full size purchase and for every bottle sold they use um, a variety of different partners around the world to plant a tree as well so a brand well worth trying out one that i have been loving and i'm sure you guys are going to love too so thanks to them for working with me on this part of today's video now my skin is freshly primed and prepped feeling hydrated ready for my makeup i'm going to get ready for the day and do my hair and everything then get on the road and Take you to Cheshire Oaks with me. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my arms give out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. And I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of people talking and wind blowing in the trees. We have arrived which is so exciting i can't wait to head in i feel like it's very quiet i feel like i've got here early enough for it to just be a bit more chilled now it was raining whilst i was driving over which is a 
a little bit disappointing but I think I think we're all good now hopefully I did check the weather this morning hopefully it's um meant to clear up throughout the day but anyway I've arrived at Cheshire Oaks at the MacArthur Glen Cheshire Oaks if you're in the area and know it there are a few other MacArthur Glen designer outlets throughout the rest of the country but this one is our local one one that I'm at all the time love the fact that I can bring Barney I didn't bring him today Tom is actually at home looking after him so this is a solo trip I headed via a quick Starbucks pit stop the shopping complex um I think it's called Coliseum or something like that which is just like round the corner from Cheshire Oaks which has like a Matalan next boots that kind of thing and they've got a Starbucks there big one so popped in met a subscriber Melanie if you're watching it was so lovely to meet you thank you for saying hello I picked myself up a cool lime refresher I was gonna go for a coffee but I'd seen that they had them in stores and this is my first of the season so I was tempted. I was tempted by um, the display of the Cool Line Refresher so hmm. picked one up. It is lovely. I don't know what it is about the Cool Line Refresher. Oh, I can't get my words out. Oh now my phone's going. One second. Hello. Where did you put his bowl? His bowl? Yeah. He's got a few that you can feed him with but it's probably in the dishwasher. Dishwasher. Take your pick from whichever one you want. Make sure the food that you're feeding him is defrosted. <laughs> whichever one, if you squish the packet, whichever one feels soft. Yeah, this feels soft. Just, just give him maybe one. Alright, thank you. Don't warm it up for him, huh? Pardon? Don't warm it up for him, huh? No, no, don't warm it up. You just, just give it to him raw. Oh, God. <laughs> feeding this every single day one time you feed him you can manage all right see you then. okay love you bye honestly honestly one time and he needs help feeding him i feel like i see those uh tiktoks and stuff of like um oh when i got fed you know like doggy you know like dog cat dog accounts or cat accounts where it's like oh this smug look that I have when I get two dinners tonight because my parents didn't communicate. That would never happen in our household. I'm always the one that feeds him, which I suppose is a good thing, that he doesn't get double the amount. Anyway, let's head on in. I can see a few people, park, a few more people parking up and getting here. I have a little tip. This little area of the car park is usually, it's like a sneaky area of the car park that's quite a good location. It's right behind Polo, Ralph Lauren and opposite Burberry and um yeah I don't know if it's like usually staff the park here or whatever but it's as you're going into what you think would go into the multi-story you just go around the side and then you actually it's like a hidden little area of car park but anyway I usually always park here and there's usually always a space even when it's full I'm excited to shop shop till I drop and there's even a little dog bakery stand which I'm going to try and grab a little something for Barney for, for when I get home. It's not exactly the best outfit of the day. Maybe if I do an in-store footage, if I'm in a change of rooms, I'll show you. But I got this blazer on from Zara and um, a Primark bodysuit. My Lululemon leggings. I'm gonna try and see if I can find any more today because I'm obsessed with these Align leggings. And then I'm gonna take my Chanel bag and I've got my UGG Ultra Minis on. I'm gonna have to show you in a change room because this is not how you film an outfit of the day. I've been feeling so small Watch the clock ticking off the wall But tonight I'm letting it go Spent my coin for sure I'm gonna be myself or I could be someone I've picked up this this blazer from Reese. It's actually quite new in and they do have quite a few different sizes. So 
if you are planning a visit um, they're right at the front of the store and in the middle as well because like I said they've got plenty of them I really love the thread of this that kind of thick thread I think will transition quite nicely in between seasons both going into like autumn but also into spring so yeah this is it in a 12 and I guess it's designed to be a little bit more fitted I might even try the 14 on um, obviously it's the double breasted there as well but I think I would just wear it open hmm yeah I might try the 14 just for a bit more of an oversized fit although I do quite like that it is a bit more tailored but yeah more than anything the uh, the fabric of this one is lovely you could definitely dress this sort of a style blazer up and also down as well I mean like literally as I am today with these ultra mini Uggs that's what I'm trying to show you in the car my Lululemon leggings just a Primark bodysuit and then let me put my other blazer on so I can show you yeah see this blazer that I had on currently was definitely more of like a relaxed fit this Zara one and it is as you can tell it's completely different fabric completely different material this one and this one's a lot more cool toned as well whereas the other one is definitely in comparison a warmer camel kind of color this one's more of like a mushroom taupe i think i'm gonna get it guys i think i'm gonna get it Uh, that's caravan coconut, also chocolate substitute. Cheese and turmeric, good for the joints. Uh, red velvet with bacon. Uh, that's carrot cake, just here for Easter, just like these. That's peanut butter, and that's peanut butter with turmeric. I'm officially having to do a carpet stop to dump all the bags I've got currently to go shopping for more. I'm gonna see my arms. Can't do it. There's a new day that will come again tomorrow. Okay, I've come into a French Connection. I've got um, a couple of dresses, like nice little summery spring dresses. I thought that was quite a nice basic, like half zip. This one is uh, in a large 53 pounds. This dress, oh, there's no label on it, but I think it was about 30 or 40. Then I also picked up this shirt. Now they didn't have a medium, so I wanna try the small. Reduced down to 35, I just quite liked the kind of oversized fit to that. And then last but not least, um, this beautiful kind of linen dress. This one is in a 10, reduced from 70 to 49. So this is the half zip. I really like it, I love the color of it. It's kind of like a bit yellowy under these lights, but it's like an oatmeal color. Um, yeah, and I love that kind of like rib design here, love the neckline, love the long sleeves. It is shorter than what I'd usually wear, so maybe, maybe not with leggings, maybe with jeans. Then this shirt is 30, 35. It's a bit small, yeah, it's too small for me. Feels a bit too small on the, um, on the actual sleeves. See, it's obviously a very oversized fit. Oh yeah, I don't know about this, but like the idea of it, I just think a medium would be better. The sleeves feel a bit, um, I think they're designed to be shorter, but they just feel a bit tight around the, um, the cuff and also I was hoping for this to be a little bit lower um, otherwise the rest of the body the length of it and everything is fine but fortunately because they don't have a bigger size I think I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this one okay this is the first of the linen dresses I quite like the top half however the bottom half is a bit too I feel snug I feel like it would be nice if it was just a bit more floaty and flowy you can also see the lining here um, where it slits so I think again I'm gonna leave this one but it feels lovely the quality of it in this top half I do like I also think that looks a bit I don't know it doesn't tie very nicely so I'd probably put my own belt with it um, so yeah I'm gonna leave this one and then this is the other dress I definitely prefer this one of the two um, again I don't know if I'd use this I'd maybe belt it myself but I love this um, like frill detail neckline um, on the sleeves and then it also ties up there. There's a little kind of cut out 
at the back. So I do think I prefer this one, but there's no price on it. So I'm just gonna double check that before um, buying, just see what it is. Let me know which of the two dresses you guys prefer. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed. five things to try on from All Saints. Um, they've got an additional 30% off everything in store as well today. So this is the Kayla jumpsuit, 159 with the extra 30% off on top of that in a UK 10. I just think it looks so comfy. It's quite thick though, so I'd probably wear this now. Um, and then maybe thrown over the top a leather jacket like this one. All of their leather jackets are quite cropped apart from this one, so I quite like that. Um, 200 from 299 and then you get 30% off as well then a basic hoodie I love the kind of charcoal color of this this is 65 pounds it's got like all saints on there and then two white dresses we've got a long version short version this one I love um, it's got long sleeves kind of brodery on glaze detailing it's quite wide fit quite boxy but I quite like that because you then you know got the option to belt it if you want so that's 80 pounds and then this one is 153 so got that one in a UK 10 this one I think I picked up in a 12 the Ashlyn brodery dress so yeah I'm gonna try on these bits now let's see what we think this is the leather jacket what it looks like I actually quite like it with just a plain kind of black outfit underneath um, of course Uggs for comfort but yeah I think I like it <laughs> I think I might purchase. It's quite hard to see in uh, this light, but this is the hoodie. I might see if they've got a large, actually. This is a medium. I just like them a little bit longer, but if they don't, I do like this. I just really like that charcoal colour. I know wearing this around Barney is going to be a no-go. <laughs> I'm just going to have to accept the fact that it's going to be covered in dog hair, but I just love that kind of like washed charcoal as opposed to the jet black. I think I'm gonna get it. I will see if they've got large first, but if not, medium it is. Okay, this one I am so torn on. I love the, um, I do love it. I'm just like, ugh, about the price. It's 159, I think, 153, 159. Um, but then it does have 30% off that. Um, I love just the fit of it, the comfort of it more than anything. I feel like I could just wear this chilling, but actually, look a bit more put together than just chilling, if you know what I mean. Um, I'd have had to just roll up the ends because it's a little bit long and I prefer it, the look of it just a little bit shorter. I'd probably put like Vea trainers on with this. Um, so yeah, oh, I'm just like talking myself in and out of this one. I wake up from the sunshine on my face so dehydrated, don't know what to say Who's sleeping by my side? What did I do last night? Can someone make this headache go away? This sunshine, honestly, making my day. So, complete change of weather. It's now very sunny. I even didn't pack my sunglasses because I thought, hmm, hold on. Does anyone else sneeze when the sun's in their eyes? Anyway, um, I've been shopping, I've got some amazing finds from All Saints. I think I'm going to try and find somewhere to get a bite to eat. There's quite a few different restaurants to choose from. At the minute, I'm just enjoying the sunshine, quite frankly. Being to myself and sit in silence Until I got a call My friend showed up at my door They wanted me to go out for The feeling in our eyes felt like we had it all. We were dancing in the dark. We were dancing in the dark. Whoa, oh, 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 o
we are back in the car i am all shopped out ready to go back now it's um gone two o'clock and i did also get myself a little cheeky treat for the journey home i actually popped into lint and just grabbed two of their little easter eggs that they do so i'm gonna have one now head back home and then show you everything i've got you might be able to tell i've got a car full of stuff i feel like i need to open the windows Ooh. all right let's get on the road jack which way do i go out of here i'm gonna go this way mm -hmm. all right mm -mm -mm. does it look like i've been shopping been shopping in fact let me go grab myself a coffee before we get started with this haul because it's probably gonna be a big one blazer off cardi on coffee in hand look how pretty I made like a little design how cute is that got my coffee in hand ready to sit down and share with you all of the items that i did pick up from cheshire oak hit of coffee feels good in fact i don't even feel like i need a card now um okay where do we begin oh my god i have that many bags i'm like i'm flustered i'm flustered i don't know where to start uh, let's start with lululemon so you know so that was the first shop that i did go into and made my first purchase now i picked up a pair of leggings these aren't my usual leggings that i rave about the ones that i'm wearing today the Align pants, they're amazing. They very rarely come into Cheshire Oaks. If they do, they're quite often in um, different colours, not just a standard black. I decided to opt for a new design for me, which is called the Wonder Under. Now, the ladies in the store told me, so I'm holding them to it, that these are probably one of the closest to the Align pants. They are a bit more sucky any align pants are more like second skin you feel like you're not wearing anything whereas these are more suited to working out training as well as yoga which is what the align pants are designed for and therefore chilling and wearing on an everyday basis which is why i opt for the align so these do feel a little bit thicker but the fact that they had them in black it's the same leg length as well that i usually go for the 25 inch i thought you know what i'm going to try these ones these were reduced from 78 down to 54 and then i also got in there this uh i want to say it's like a cardigan shawl type thing which let me try it on for you so you can see i'm imagining wearing kind of like with an outfit that i'm wearing now just a very lightweight throw on i feel like it's almost like a cross between a poncho and a cardigan so it sits quite uh low which is what i like does it have pockets no i don't think it has pockets it's honestly just a very relaxed fit back wing sleeved throw on just an extra layer over like a vest and leggings or even a little dress or something in the summer you know just if you want that extra layer so this i thought was a bargain cashew knit wrap textured wrap 39 pounds reduced from 138 pounds so you basically got 100 quid off that amazing i'm very happy with that one so that's everything that i got from lululemon i did pop into m&s they're all oh, in here is also a little dog bakery donut for barney in there i also got from m&s from their homeware section that they have at the m&s outlet there these gorgeous linen kind of rustic looking napkins napkins tea towels these are a set of two cotton tea towels six pound fifty the retail price is nine pound fifty they had them with instead of this black thread they had oh it's like a charcoal really they had red as well but yeah i just loved that real rustic texture i think these in the kitchen um will look lovely then at uh next or within next they have victoria's secret which they had loads of stuff discounted at honestly amazing price points i got one pair of leggings well leggings i call them joggers they call them the high waist full length jogger extra soft breathable so you can like work out in them but also just lounge in them 
they've got a little tie waist as well they're very high waisted which is so nice i got these in a small now they didn't have changing rooms on they didn't have changing rooms in the store and um when i was in all saints picked up some bits which you'll see in a second i did just try these on quickly in the changing rooms just to make sure they did fit and a small is actually fine i was a bit worried they were going to be too small but yeah they had these in a lovely green as well but i decided to go for the kind of charcoal color and they're again the kind of like aged acid wash type finish to them in this beautiful charcoal gray which i'm loving at the minute so these were 15 pounds i mean so affordable full price 46 this was actually the thing i purchased last on route out and it is a from jack wills it's a it's like a thin knit jumper hoodie type thing they had the matching joggers which i did try on but i didn't find the joggers that flattering on me so i decided to just get the top full price of this was 34.99 so not too bad but it was in the sale at 25 pounds then in cadbury ooh, i did treat us to some easter chocolate and they had these they had toblerones and they had these mini egg bars with uh names on so i decided to pick up a freya and thomas and then i also picked up from adidas i've already got these actually they are seven pounds from cheshire oaks which i've bought previously and i do wear them quite a lot so they're just plain crew socks with the little adidas logo on and then oh this was exciting the cosmetics company store now do joan malone so obviously they do lo loads of makeup and stuff but the fact that they now do Jo Malone was very exciting. Definitely going to be popping in there every time I go to Cheshire Oaks now. They had loads of candles in red roses. I'm not personally a rose lover, so I didn't get one of those, but I got the orange blossom one instead. They did have pomegranate noir, but I do have a big one of pomegranate noir already. And it was also in like a limited edition glass and i prefer the just the classic so these retail for 50 pounds but in the outlets they are 37 pound 50 and then reese was was it my most expensive purchase no all saints probably was um reese i got a good classic staple piece and it is this blazer so i showed you in the changing rooms it's on it is called the alessia double breasted in soft camel the lady at the till who served me had this in cream but i got the camel color i did size up to a 14 i tried on the 12 and it fit fine but i kind of wanted a more of a relaxed fit to it because it does have a little bit of tailoring to it so i didn't want it too fitted because i feel like if it's too fitted then you can only really dress it up whereas if you go a little bit more boxier then you can dress it down wear it more casually with like jeans and evasia trainers or something or even uggs so yeah this is the camel blazer that i went for i'm going to do a bit of a styling video on this um for my instagram so if you're not already following it's fro farrington one where you can see all I kind of like outfits and day to day and then my last and oh no i've got one more shot after this and um, all saints i managed to get my hands on a leather jacket so i did ask if they had any others available of this one she said it's the last one in stock so that is as predicted i thought it would be um it was a bestseller they had one very similar just with a little more hardware and it was also 250 something pounds whereas this one was 200 and then obviously they had the 30 percent off in store how did i get that off the blazer yes the leather jacket was reduced to 140 from full price of 300 pounds this is called the doors biker jacket i think just is a more of a classic fit than a cropped i feel like a cropped leather jacket is a bit harder to style the relaxed fit of this style that i feel like will be a bit more of a timeless classic that won't date i bit the bullet and i got myself my very first my first ever all saints leather jacket i tell a lie you know when i was in school i had an all saints leather jacket that i found in tk max but it was very i didn't i it's the style that has just dated and that's probably why it was in tk max it was a very militarian style with um military buttons on it there was no collar to it it was just 
I mean, I don't have it anymore. <laughs> there we go. Whereas that's one that's gonna be a classic that I'll probably keep forever. I also got one of these hoodies. These were mirror in, so they had a few different color options. They had loads of different sizes. I did ask for, I tried on a medium. I said, have you got a large? And they did in the back. So these were 65 pounds. But again, you've got 30% off of this, making it 45 pounds and 50 pence. I loved the kind of subtle All Saints to this. And it's quite like a new font for All Saints. That, so I feel like it looks more like a newer style as well. I feel like their dresses are lovely. So I did pick up one. He also threw in a load of that, because he saw me looking at their fragrances a load of samples for some of their fragrances, which by the way, look lovely. They come in like a glass bottle with a concrete lid and they honestly look so nice. So I've got Concrete Rain and Leather Skies. Concrete Rain is Invigorating Tranquil Musk. Ooh, that's lovely. That's like, um, I really get the concrete rain element. It smells like like a thunderstorm, if a thunderstorm would smell. Leather Skies, the other one is Primal Sensual Leather. Spritz it on this arm. Oh, which one do I prefer? Oh, maybe this one. I like both. This one's far heavier. Leather Skies is far heavier, but the, I feel like the Concrete Rain one would be lovely now or in the warmer months so nice anyway the last and final item that i picked up from all saints is a dream i mean i tried it on the install so you can see what it looks like but it is beautiful this dress was a winner for me i tried on some other ones in french connection i just feel like this for me was a standout so i decided to go for it it's the livy linen dress in chalk white i got a size 10 the retail price of this was 219 However, because of the discounts, I got it for 107 and 10 pence, which I'm very happy with. I know that's pricier than I would ordinarily pay for a dress, but honestly, the quality is second to none. It's definitely a lot thicker fabric, so I feel like it'd either be in an evening in summer, summer's dress, or springtime dress with the length of it and everything as well, whereby you can start wearing now, really. To be honest with you, I could have worn this kind of a dress today. When the sun came out, it was lovely at Cheshire Oaks. So I um, definitely, I'm gonna try and get my wear out of that and start wearing it as soon as possible. That's, that's my aim, which is not hard when it's a dress that you love. How have I forgotten the most exciting purchase? One last and final purchase that I am so excited for, and I've not got one bag but I've got two. I was gonna say, can you guess what it is? However, this bag kind of gives it away. I got one of the Hotel Chocolat Velvetizers, which is so exciting. I've been after one of these for so long. I, I think I've spoken about it before as a good Christmas gift idea. Um, you know, no family or friends have ever got the hint. <laughs> so I picked it up myself. I got the white version. They did actually have all of the colors in store at least i think all of the colors that that they do the rose gold the white the kind of charcoal gray and it's not in this box but they also had the platinum one in which is like a, a silvery chrome kind of color so any guesses on which color i went for i was actually torn between two you know i will say that i was torn between the charcoal gray and the white just because i feel like had the charcoal grey have been a bit darker, a bit more black, I would have gone for that one. So I ended up going for the white one, which is so exciting. Okay, so with this set, you get um, two of their ceramic, what do they call them? Ceramic cups, <laughs> ceramic cups. The perfect size for one of their Hotel Chocolat chocolate, hot chocolates. So these velvetizers are great because they're not only for making the hot chocolates with, but you can also um, like do coffee in them, you can heat milk in them. So they are quite practical. You know, it's not just for hot chocolates. This is what the white one looks like. It was 99 pounds for the set. I'm gonna try it out tonight, I think, and start enjoying some hot chocolates. So to go with it, I did pick up some um, of the chocolate sets that they had. They had them on offer at three for 30 pounds. So I got one of this one, which is actually the coffee 
um, set. They had all different kind of coffee sets. I opted for this one just because of the variety within here. So this is called the Everything Selection Latte. It comes with cafe latte, chocolate latte, and hazelnut latte. So you can also buy a box of those individually. And then in here, how many do you get? You get 10 servings. And then I also went for this one, just the classic 70%. I was going to go for either the nut milk or the milk chocolate one. But she did say, the lady did say that this one's quite rich and creamy and chocolatey. So if you like a chocolatey hot chocolate, to try this one. And then I also got this one, which I think I'll personally prefer. I think this one will be my favourite. It's the hazelnut praline drinking chocolate honestly just sounds a dream and then last but not least i also picked us up an easter egg to share who knows we might crack this open tonight this is the uh your you crack me up one they had quite a few different ones actually loads of easter chocolates i just assumed that because easter is seasonally appropriate now kind of that they wouldn't have had any easter stock in they had loads so I guess maybe it's verging on being too late, I suppose, to give people these drugs. I don't know. But either way, whenever I've been in on a seasonal, at seasonal time, like at Christmas or Valentine's, they always have seasonal stock. So they did have a couple of like Christmas stock heavily reduced. But apart from that, loads of Easter stuff. So this one, you crack me up. If you've ever had a Hotel Chocolat Easter egg before, it comes split. So that within it, you can see, well, you can't see because they're all wrapped up, but there are individually wrapped chocolates in here. There's a little sneaky peek of them in there. And then that is the thickness of the egg. How nice does that look? I remember our first ever Easter together. There was, it was when the whole trend of Kylie Jenner talking about Velvet Teddy and Well Lip Liner from MAC, and it was just sold out everywhere. Tom had managed to get his hands on it and opened up the egg, a Hotel Chocolat egg, put the lipstick and lip liner in, and then gave me that as my first ever like Easter egg. I say first ever, my only ever Easter egg that I've got from him. Anyway, that is gonna conclude today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed coming along with me and spending the day with me at Cheshire Oaks, seeing what's new in, seeing what I've purchased. Thank you again to Naked and Thriving for very kindly sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check them out via the link in my description box. And I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.